Courtney going on. Interesting. <laughs> right, I'm muting you all. Messy Church. Um, I looked out the window this morning and I thought, oh, someone's been listening to us because it was wet and wild outside as well. So uh, I feel like um, we have approval for our wet and wild uh, Sunday. Um, Lucy has, um, she was looking through some photographs of Messy Church and so she's made a little video. Um, she did it all by herself, no assistance needed. I just felt a bit lost because, you know, I'm not needed anymore. But it's okay, she still gives me a cuddle, so that's fine. Um, she's made a video of Messy Church, so I will see. We know how videos go, so I will try my best. Hopefully it will come on.
I can eat it. See it? No, we couldn't couldn't get either of those. Honestly, three times this morning we tried that. <laughs> Mine, but at least you got to see it there. Um, I am passing over to um, Jen now for our first song. Right, we're going to have a go at Our God is a Great Big God. We're going to do it a cappella and all. Probably know the actions by now. So Eric's going to lead for us, aren't you? Okay. <laughs> Ready? Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God, and He holds us in His hands. He's higher than the skyscraper, and He's deeper than the submarine. He's wider than the universe and beyond my wildest dream. And he's known me and he's loved me since before the world began. How marvelous to be a part of God's amazing plan. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God and he holds us in his hand. He's higher than the skyscraper and he's deeper than a submarine. He's wider than the universe and beyond my wildest dreams. And he's known me and he's loved me since before the world began. How marvelous to be a part of God's amazing world. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God. And he holds us in his hands. And he holds us in his hands. And he holds us in his hands. Brilliant. Well done, Eric. Now we're going to hand back to Sam for our first stormy craft. Hi. Okay. So I've got the first storm craft to do today. So for my craft, you will need your empty plastic bottle. Uh, water, some food colouring and 
some oil. Okay. Okay, so make sure you've got a nice tight lid, otherwise you will end up getting wet. Uh, we are going to try and make this our storm in a bottle. So it gets really, really stormy. And then you have to wait and the storm subsides and then the water and the storm separate and it's all nice and calm. It takes a little while, so I'll leave that one sitting while we do ours. So you want to take the lid off your bottle. And you want to fill it about a quarter of the way, third of the way up. Okay, once you've done that, you want to take your food colour in and then just a couple of drops, not not too much. Doesn't matter what colour it is. And then you want to put your lid back on and give it a little shake just to mix the colouring in. Then open your lid back up. And then you want to add in your oil. So you want to add twice the amount of oil to water. And it looks really cool. It all starts to like Whoa. bubble up. So the water's nice and settled, and then the storm clouds are at the top. Yeah. Did it all work? <laughs> yeah, did you all? Yes. Good. Don't Amber, drink. loving that. Thank you. Don't drink it. <laughs> Yours is really tight, yes, Jack. You can Don't drink it. Shake oh, Mum. It, it came out a bit on Jack. <laughs> well, there we go. That's just... <laughs> That's just Jack. <laughs> Um, that's not what you want to happen, no. Um, so that's just storm in the bottle, and you can keep it. And then, if uh, if you're finding times difficult, things are hard, shake your bottle, get some anger out, and then uh, watch it all calm back down, um, and you'll see that uh, things will be better. And it's a good thing for me. Yes, it is a good thing for you, Jack. <laughs> right, thank you everyone. I'm passing over to uh, Jen now for her story. 
Um, as a little addition to that, um, I had seen somebody make a small boat out of maybe like a little yogurt pot or something, something that's water soluble that you can sit in. And when it's calm, it tends to sit kind of above the water and below the oil. So that's another nice little thing if you want something visual inside it. Um, so we might try that a bit later. Thank you, Sam. That was brilliant. We're going to do our story, which is Jesus calming the storm. So I've got my two little helpers to do a visual representative of the story. So we shall have a go. Right, do you want to get your prop, Eric? Oh. Okay. Oh. Right. So, some please. So, one night after a long day of preaching to the people, Jesus, there he is. <laughs> decided to get into a boat, a fishing boat, with his disciples and go across the sea to the other side. Leaving the crowd behind, Jesus and his friends got into a boat. Screen. Here he is. There's in his boat. So when they sailed to the middle of the sea, a storm began. Jesus had decided to go below and fell asleep. <laughs> Rocked back and forth, up and down in the waves. Even though the sea was tossing about, Jesus was still asleep. His disciples were really starting to be afraid. They tried lowering the anchor and the sail, but nothing worked. Finally, they could take it no longer. They woke Jesus and said, Teacher, do you not care if we drown? With that, Jesus came up. And he shouted at the storm for it to be quiet and still. The storm died down, the waves grew calm. Jesus said to his disciples, Why are you so afraid? Why did you not believe I would take care of you? The disciples were no longer afraid but amazed. They turned to each other and said, Who is this? Even the wind and the waves obey him. <laughs> there we go. Hopefully that came across okay. The boys had a lot of fun making that up with me. So we're going to hand back to Lucy and Jack for a game. Hello. <laughs> we are going to be playing a weather game. So um, we're going to do actions, and then whenever me and Jack shout one out, you're going to um, do that action. So okay, yeah. So the first one is thunder, which is thunder. <laughs> and then rain. Sunshine. Uh, we got clouds, and we've got wind. That's awesome. So. Okay, right. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Right, you can check one out first. Okay. Um, sunshine. <laughs> um, thunder. <laughs> um, clouds, <laughs> wind, um, thunder, sun, 
Bye, Shai. Clouds. Rain. Uh, thunder. Wet. When? Wind. Rain. <laughs> <laughs> Clouds. Sunshine. Wind. Thunder. Excellent. Well done. We could see you all there. Excellent actions. Um, we're moving on to our song now, which uh, is one from last Messy Church, the Wiggle song. Yeah. I know the one we in. So um, we're going to do uh, that one just now. Um, so if you remember, we just wiggle and then freeze. And we haven't frozen. Wiggle, 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 freeze. And then ha shaking hands and feet and hands. Said I gotta, I gotta, I gotta get the wiggles out of me. I'm gonna shake my hands, I'm gonna shake my feet, I'm gonna shake my head, gonna groove to the beat. Cause I gotta, I gotta, I gotta get the wiggles out of me. I said I gotta, I gotta, I gotta get the wiggles out of me. everybody. Um, I'm glad you were all wiggling and jiggling. We are handing over to Rach now for our next Stormcraft. Morning everyone. So our next Stormcraft is for us to make a Storm Lantern to put a small tea light inside to remind us even when the storm is blowing that better times will come and it will all calm down. So this is where you need your leaves, your glue and your glass jar. So, which one? Okay, so you can stick your leaves on any way you like. So if you can see these ones we've stuck on as if they've been blown around in a storm. You can completely cover it. It will just make beautiful patterns when you've got the tea light inside. What I would suggest you do is with your glass jar, 
is give it a good coat of the PVA glue first, where you're going to stick a leaf. Just hang on, darling. No. Just hang on one second, darling. And then, <coughs> sorry. And then get the leaf you're going to stick on, pop it onto the where the glue is, firming it down, but then go back over it with glue. And it will look white, but in true Blue Peter style, it will dry clear. So if, in this case, more is definitely more, we don't need less, lots of glue, um, or you will find you begin to peel somewhat, which we don't want. So if you coat it in glue, you can see how much I've put onto this leaf here. And then on a day like today, I'm sure, <coughs> sorry, I'm sure we've all got fires and radiators on. Just leave it for a couple of hours to dry. When you drop your tea light in tonight as it goes dark, it will make beautiful, beautiful patterns. Sam, have we got any, um, here's one we made earlier, music while people are gluing. I'll mute again so you don't have to listen to me. <laughs> starting to get lots of leaves on your jars and that's lovely this is one of those crafts where we'll probably need some pictures for Facebook later this does tie in really nicely though there is um, a campaign at the moment for in darker days remembering that light will come and people are being asked to light up their windows in the dark winter evenings it would be really lovely as we drive around the village to be able to see some of your storm lanterns in the windows, lighting it up as beautiful decoration. Can you help me? Yeah, I'm done. Thank you, um, Rachel. I've left uh, Lucy, she's busy gluing. <laughs> um, I'm going to hand over to Tim now for our prayer. Hi everyone. Uh, normally, of course, when we pray, we put our hands together, but today I want you to do something different with your hand. 
I want you to hold it up like that. So can everybody hold their hand up like that? We can turn it round like that if you like. So we're going to use our five fingers to pray with. So I want you to think about the thumb. And if you hold your hand like that, the thumb is closest to you. So I want you to think about those who are closest to you. So that would be your family. So that would be your mummy and daddy or your grandparents or perhaps your brother and your sister. And I want you to say their name very quietly to God and to pray for them, that God will help them look after you. Okay, so the next finger, this finger, is normally the th finger we point with. So I want you to think about all those people in your life who help you to go forward. So that would be your teachers. In some cases, of course, your teacher is your mummy. I can't, can't say who, but that, <laughs> uh, a doctor maybe. Perhaps your minister, church minister, perhaps you have a sport that you do, somebody coaches you, maybe your swimming teacher or your rugby coach, something like that. So think of them and help them to teach you and coach you and to help you go into the future with their support. So just think of their name and say their name quietly to God. So the third, this finger, which is the tallest finger. So I want you to think about those who are in charge of our country. We're having a very difficult time at the moment. And those who are in charge of our country have lots of pressures on them. So we need to pray for them. So we need to pray for the queen, for her majesty, the queen. We need to pray for the prime minister and the first minister. So think of them and pray for them that God will help them with their decisions to lead us. Okay, so the next, I'll move on to this hand because this finger is, if you wear a ring like I do, my wedding ring, that's called your ring finger. So we're going to think of people who are in trouble maybe, or may be ill, or having difficulty of some sort or another. So there may be somebody in your family who needs your prayers today because they're not very well, or somebody you know, a friend, a friend of a friend. So pray for them this morning that God will help them, that they may know God's love at this difficult time. So just think of a name and say it to God. Then finally, our pinky finger, our little finger. So we're going to pray for ourselves. So pinky finger, we think of ourselves and we're going to pray for God to help us and to help us to help others. And that's our prayers, our five finger prayer. And of course, you can do that anytime at home if you want to, when you want to say a prayer. Just hold your fingers up and that will remind you who to pray for. Okay, that's that's the end of our prayers, so we'll move on now. Thank you, Tim. Um, that was lovely. Um, I'm passing on now to Jane, who has uh, our next song. Right. No, not this one. <laughs> we have a new song today. It's a cappella, and it gets increasingly more difficult as we go on. Yes. <laughs> so be prepared. Really? So the actions are as follows. Sea, boat, men, hands, Nets, fish, coin, and face. 
So I'll just start singing it and then you'll get the idea as it goes along. It's a very simple tune. Okay. There's a sea of Galilee. There's a sea of Galilee. There's a sea. There's a sea. There's a sea of Galilee. There's a boat on the sea of Galilee. There's a boat on the sea of Galilee. There's a boat. There's a boat. There's a boat on the sea of Galilee. There are men in the boat on the sea of Galilee. There are men in the boats on the Sea of Galilee. There are men, there are men, there are men in the boats on the Sea of Galilee. There are hands on the men in the boats on the Sea of Galilee. There are hands on the men in the boats on the Sea of Galilee. There are hands, there are hands, there are hands on the men in the boats on the Sea of Galilee. There are nets in the hands of the men on the boats in the Sea of Galilee. There are nets in the hands of the men in the boats on the Sea of Galilee. There are nets, there are nets, there are nets in the hands of the men in the boats on the Sea of Galilee. There's a fish in the nets in the hands of the men in the boats on the Sea of Galilee. There's a fish in the net in the hands of the men in the boats on the sea of Galilee. There's a fish, there's a fish, there's a fish in the nets in the hands of the men in the boats in the sea of Galilee. There's a coin in the fish in the nets in the hands of the men in the boats in the sea of Galilee. There's a coin in the fish in the nets in the hands of the men in the boats in the sea of Galilee. There's a coin, there's a coin, there's a coin in the fish in the nets in the hands of the men in the boats in the sea of Galilee. There's a face in the coin in the fish in the nets in the hands of the men in the boats in the sea of Galilee. There's a face on the coin in the fish in the nets in the hands of the men on the boats in the sea of Galilee. There's a face, there's a face, there's a face on the coin in the fish in the nets in the hands of the men on the boats on the sea of Galilee. Hooray! <laughs> Brilliant. We all managed it. The song I listened to on YouTube was about 10 times faster than that. And it's taken me all week to be able to do it. So I slowed it down for you. Um, and we're going to hand over to, back to Sam to do birthdays. Okay, so um, we're on birthdays this week. I know of... Um, one birthday, and that is Fraser. Where are you, Fraser? We've also got Rihanna. And Rihanna. And anybody else? Anybody else? Anybody waving? No. Okay. Uh, we'll, we'll say happy birthday and after three. Are we ready? Yes. Wait a minute. We'll unmute everybody. We are ready. Mm -hmm. Let's see. I'll everybody and then we can hear everybody sing. Here we go. Okay. Uh, one, two, three. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Uh, uh, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Thank you, boy. Wait, you're still muted, Ray. Uh, Jen, can't hear you. There we go. 
hear me now. Uh, thanks everybody for joining our wet and wild morning. Um, next month, we've got something very exciting. We're going to be doing a Chris Dingle, but we're going to be providing Chris Dingle in a bag for you all. So we're going to be making up little party bags, which will have everything you need for the Chris Dingle service, um, plus a few extras. And they are going to be available from the church car park the Friday afternoon after school and the Saturday beforehand. We will post more details um, on Facebook and the emails as to when they will be available. If you wanted to send a message through to me, Rachel or Sam, to let us know if you would like a party bag and how many, then we can get an idea of numbers. Um, also, if you are unable to come to the church car park for any reason, you are shielding or um, you cannot get there, please message us and we will do everything we can to make sure that you get something to join in with the service. So that is Sunday the 13th of December, usual time, 10.30, but we will post, yeah, 13th post more details as to when the bags will be available soon. Thanks very much. Do you wish to bye? Bye! Bye! I'll buckle in. Ooh. Ooh, yeah. Should we see if we can find Granny? <laughs> Do a few It's a blue. It's nice. The blue is really nice. I think I put too much food color again. Daddy, Papa, Daddy, Papa, Daddy, Papa, Daddy, Papa. Oh, that's very neat. Oh, very nice. The, the, the usual high level of artistic flair being demonstrated by our congregations. Very messy. Let's put this in messy church. Yeah, messy church is messy. Yes. We jump. I have to go. I have to go. Yeah, Leave. Well done, Mary. Very good. Very good. Very good. Tiny boat. Okay. That's nice. I'll get the colours. I have to get the colours. It's a nice one. That's a purple one too. Thank you everyone for partaking. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye